What's going on people? It's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to auto filter not equals from more than two criteria in the same column. So by default, Excel only lets you have up to two criteria when you want to do a not equals to. So there's like a neat little trick we can do to get around that. So let's go ahead and get started with our sub. We'll call this sub more than two. And we'll declare our variables. We'll have count and I as long. And then our worksheet, WS as worksheet. So then we'll just set our worksheet equal to sheets. And then the name of our sheet is going to be sheet one. And then our count is going to be equal to WS, so sheets, sheet one. Um, and then the cells are going to have rows dot count. Column A. And we're just going to count up. So our count is just going to be equal to the very last cell here. 231. So account equals 231 at this point. And then I is going to be where we're starting from. So we want I to start here in row five, because that's when our data starts. So I equals five. And then we're going to have a do while loop. So I, I is less than or equal to count. So y i is five and less than or equal to count, which is two thirty one. We are going to have an if statement, and for this example, we're going to just go ahead and say that we want to have a not equals for three or more regions. So let's go ahead and go with cells I. So I is five at this point, so it'll be right here. And then we're gonna do two. So down five over one over one, which equals two, right? So right here. And we're gonna start here and work our way down as this loop goes over and over again. So we're looking for the value here. The value is not equal to, let's start with Eastern Europe. And instead of continuing with this line, I'm just going to go ahead and break it and continue it on to the next line. And then we can go with the same column, not equal to. Oceana, and then I'll continue with this same line onto the next line, and cells I2 value not equal to Western Europe. And continue and let's just do another one just for fun so we'll do four not equals and cells I2 that value not equal to um, northern Africa then so if any of this is true then what we're going to do is actually 
color the cell. So that's the trick here. We're going to change the color of any cell that meets our condition. And this allows us to get around the auto filter not let, letting us use more than two criteria. Because you can try to use a, an array, you can try to add more than two criteria, but it won't work when it comes to not equals. So this is the uh, probably the best way around that. Kind of a sneaky way around it. So what we're going to just do is repeat cells I2, interior color. equals RGB um, let's find a color that we like so go here more colors um, custom kinda like this color here so we got 38 201 218 okay 38 201 218 38 201 218 right hope that's right all right so that'll be our color, and then we can end our if statement. And then we'll just iterate i, so i equals i plus one, so that it increases until it actually becomes greater than count. So let's go ahead and run what we have so far and see what happens. So as you can see, we've got everything highlighted that's not equal to Eastern Europe, Northern Africa, Oceania, Western Europe, all the way down. And if you want, you can highlight the whole row. You would just have to include a range here. And this would be I, I think 20. And you would change this to one. I think we're out 20 spaces. Yup, count is 20, see that down there? Sorry about that. Um, I wonder if I can just so that I'm not cut off, I can just put this here and continue it. Yeah, that should be good. All right, run it again, and you see we've got it all the way continued all the way over. So it's you know it's your preference. But for what we're doing, all we really need is this one column highlighted. So I'm going to go ahead and take it back to that one column. But this code would work either way. So let me see if I can just backspace it. All right, there we go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is filter by color. So we're gonna do WS, which is just gonna be going to our sheet, our sheet name up here. And WSS, WS just makes it easier so that you don't have to keep typing this over and over and over again. And say you want to change your sheet name, something like uh, data, all you'd have to do is change this one instance of it up here, and the rest of your code will work fine. You wouldn't have to keep going, like you wouldn't have to go here and change it, here and change it. So range A4, that's where our filter is going to be right here A4 and we're gonna do auto filter field 2 right here and the criteria criteria 1 is going to be our color so RGB 38 201 218 so we're just filtering by color and you got to make sure that you use the operator XL filter cell color 
Alright. Oh, okay, it should be an equal sign right here. After the colon. Same with this colon. Sorry about that. Alright, so we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and filter it. Boom, there you go. Um, so this is kind of ugly, I guess, for some people. So uh, a, a way to clean this up, so say you don't want the color there after the fact, you can just simply put WS, cells, interior, color, index, and that's going to be equal to zero. So if we run this again, we're cleaned up. And you saw how the whole rows were colored. Um, if we run it now, we'll only have that column, column B colored. So let me take this out really quickly just to show you. You see that? So I commented it out. I'm going to put it back in, run it, and there you have it. So let's let it run from start to finish. So we want to have a not equals Eastern Europe, not equals Oceania, not equals Western Europe, not equals Northern Africa for the region here. We'll run our code. And you saw the color change for like half a second, but there we have it. We've got exactly what we want. Found a clever way to get around that limitation. So, um, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Please uh, comment, subscribe, like. Have a good one.